What's going on guys? It's Isaac. It's my birthday today. Um, it's been a pretty good birthday. I've been uh, mowing pretty much all day. So I am war slam out. I'm pretty, pretty nasty. But uh, that's not why I'm making this video. I'm making this video because I want to introduce y'all to the most kick butt Jeep I have ever seen. Now, a lot of y'all are going to be like, nah, those aren't that good. I love this thing. This thing is fantastic. So, y'all ready to see it? Here we go. Right here is a M715. It was first developed in 1965 for the military and it was the replacement for the Dodge M37. The M715 was produced in Ohio and uh, there were over 33,000 trucks being produced. pretty cool isn't it they are awesome but they have one Achilles heel and that's the power plant the six cylinder yes I said six cylinder in this truck has if I'm not mistaken something like Siamese cylinders so the head gasket is real thin in between two of the cylinders and apparently these things blow head gaskets like there's no tomorrow so if you go out hot dogging it you better have an extra head gasket handy so uh, I guess I need to show you what the power plant looks like Alright, so it has, I think it has a two barrel carburetor on it, I think. Overhead cam, pretty sweet. It has a 24 volt generator on it, military you know. And an Uga horn, that is not stock guys. I'd like to thank my granddad for uh, providing me with this truck. I have been obsessed with this thing since I was like 15, 16 years old. Man, it's like, like 25 years. 25 years. And it's been sitting underneath his garage. I, now, he drove it. He drove it. He used it to haul his tractors and stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, but it's done a lot of sitting. And uh, he just, he told me that I was probably getting the M715. So uh, ever since he said that, I've been collecting parts. So I've got two parts vehicles for this truck and a extra engine, transmission, chassis, wheels, tires, etc, etc. So, let's hook these things back. So this thing has a Tornado inline 6. I believe it's a 230. Let's see. It has a 230 Tornado inline 6. It has a Warner T98 four speed manual. The length is 209.75 inches. 
This Jeep is made by Kaiser, which is pretty cool. Let's see if I can find any more history on this, guys. Do, 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 do. The M715 sometimes is called the five quarter ton for its one and a quarter ton payload rating. Okay, I was curious. I thought this was just a one ton, but it's a one and a quarter. That's awesome. Um, only made uh, like 30. This mosquito is just going to get it. It got it. <sighs> Let me see. 85 inches wide. The predecessor was the... Wow. Mosquitoes are bad out here, guys. I'm not going to be doing this much longer. Um, and the weight is just over 5,000 pounds. So, let's get a better look at it. So I believe a lot of y'all have noticed that this top is not original to the truck. There was no top when this truck was purchased and uh, my granddad wanted a top on it so he can drive it in the rain and stuff. So uh, he made this top. Doesn't quite look like the original hard top that came on these trucks. The originals were probably about down to here and back and it kind of sloped up. and. Uh, had a little bit rounder edges. I don't think my granddad did too bad on it. So as long as the top don't leak and doesn't give me any problems, I'm fine with it. But I will have a cloth top on standby if this top ever gets in bad shape. So I do have the bows for the top. Oh, some of y'all probably don't know it, but this truck is a convertible. So they came with a fiberglass hardtop and a metal hardtop. I think there was 
From what I was told, there were two tops that came with this truck. Y'all tell me if I'm wrong or not, but there was a fiberglass one and a metal one. And a cloth top using those bows right there. The cloth top went on top of those bows and you could take the top off. Uh, the windshield also folds forward on this truck. So, man, it's a convertible convertible. It's awesome. All right, guys. Um, I think it's time for a uh, road test. Let's take it for a drive. There's an ignition right there. And I believe originally there was a button on the floor to crank it up, but there has been a push button installed. We have uh, 60 pounds of oil, or no, sorry, just over 30 pounds of oil pressure. Fuel gauge is reading empty, probably pretty close to it. The temperature hasn't come up yet and the generator is charging. So as I said earlier, so as I said earlier, this thing has a four-speed manual transmission right there. It also has an emergency brake and uh, this is going to be four-wheel drive and high and low range. Clutch in. First gear. definitely different. You see a regular Jeep around all the time. You don't ever see one of these Jeeps. And it's just, it's awesome. Red uh, Go Power Sports. Uh, wish me happy birthday. Thank you very much. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm, I plan on keeping this truck the way it is. I'm going to clean it up and maintain it. I do plan on uh, my parts truck has a blown up engine. So, I plan on putting my parts truck together and putting uh, either a diesel in it or, you know, small block V8 and uh, cruise it around. So I'll have one original and one modified, and then I'll have a complete parts vehicle. 
So, y'all see the smile on my face? My granddad has made my day, my day, my month, my, my year. I have a good granddad. All right. Well, I've got to get this thing parked back under the shelter, guys, because i got to get back to John's house so we can get to work in the morning. So, if, uh, if y'all like this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if y'all want to see more M715 stuff, uh, let me know. So, if y'all want to... Yo! Thanks, guys. You're welcome. And we'll see about getting some more videos out on this awesome truck. So, I'll catch y'all later. Big smiles here.